So on this channel we talk a lot about the future of the automotive world. I love to look at awesome technologies that might take us into a greener and better future. And I am very open minded. I believe that we should explore all possible technologies and that we should not put all of our eggs in the electric basket. That said, I'm not a hater of electric. In some cases they are really good, but they aren't the be all, end all of everything mobility related. I have said time and time again that we will need to have hydrogen, electric and possibly even synthetic fuels all coexisting. In the world of commercial work vehicles, electric just won't work as well as a proper internal combustion engine. Enthusiast vehicles are also best suited with a fuel driven engine. And then besides that, there is 8 billion people on earth. If everyone went electric, number one, producing enough batteries for everyone would be impossible and detrimental to the planet. And then comes the electricity, which is the whole topic of today's video. Energy and environmental problems are closely related, since it is nearly impossible to produce, transport or even consume energy without a significant environmental impact. So let's take a look at how we produce this electricity. So in 2020, this is how the US produced most of the power. Most of the energy was produced by burning fossil fuels at 61% of their total energy coming from fossil fuels, which ain't good for the planet. So you might drive an electric with no emissions, but producing that electricity does create emissions. Then 18% of the total energy produced came from nuclear, which I have no problem with. And then 19.8% came from renewables like solar, wind and hydro. So most of the power produced came from burning fuels. And unfortunately, we need to do this. Renewables just aren't very efficient. So running a whole country off of renewables is very difficult. Now at this moment Switzerland is really struggling. Why? Well one of their key sources of energy is also burning fossil fuels, which they got from Russia. And now after the sanctions, a massive shortage of energy has started all across Europe. Now here is the big problem. Other than running gas turbines, Switzerland also makes power by running hydroelectric plants, which are great when they aren't frozen up. As water resources freeze up during the winter, it becomes difficult to produce more energy and it forces the country to depend on their reserves to survive. And all of this led up to the government's paper on conserving electricity. This paper highlights restricted private use of electric cars and a potential lowering of speed limits in Switzerland. In a quote from this paper, the private use of electric cars are only permitted for absolutely necessary journeys e.g. professional practice, shopping, visiting the doctor, attending religious events and attending court appointments. So what is my point with this whole video? And what are the takeaways? Well, EVs are currently being sold as the one-stop solution for every country to reach their net zero goal by 2070. I mean the EU wants to put a ban on internal combustion powered vehicles, which I think is the dumbest thing they could possibly do. And most experts say that this simply won't work. In fact, the future of mobility will depend on several different sources of power, from fuels to electric. Some countries just won't be able to run a whole country's worth of EVs from their grids. And then we have to remember that renewables just won't work in all geolocations. If it's a cold country where the sun doesn't shine a lot, solar just won't be efficient enough. Then super cold winters will affect hydro, Wind electricity needs large open spaces, it's just the list goes on and on. The takeaway is that there isn't just one solution for mobility. The future will need EVs as well as hydrogen powered vehicles. Some companies believe in synthetic fuels, hybrids or even fuel cells. All of these technologies together is the only way. But let me know what you think down below. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Yeah, so just let me know down below. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many things correlated, so if you like cars, this is the place to be. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?